Maastricht. What a beautiful place. Squeezed between Belgium and Germany, this place is completely different than anything else in the Netherlands. So follow us along today as we explore this beautiful town filled with music, epic architecture and scenes that seem to be straight out of a fairy tale. Alright, we made it to Maastricht. Here we're gonna go see an epic church, eat some pies, that's a really cool bakery shop. And then we're gonna head to the other city that's also really cool. So we made it to the famous bridge of Maastricht. I don't know the name. I guess it's not that famous. But it's a nice bridge, that's for sure. It's Sunday today. It's very busy. There's a lot of people. But I think it adds to the atmosphere. Because we went to a different city yesterday. There were no people. And it just felt dead, so... Let's enjoy the liveliness. So this is Het Freithof, if I'm correct. And this is where André Lieu, famous composer, always has like a big musical event, like an orchestra in the middle of the streets, in the middle of the square. Maastricht can you see someone epically playing violin in the middle of the street. By the way, Mariko told me I should wear my head like this. What do you think? Is this better? I prefer the other way around, but uh, I'll let you guys decide. Now this church is called Onze Lieve Vrouw Church, means something like uh, Our Sweet Lady Church. And uh, this church is so epic the last time I was here, the most epic church I ever saw. Now it's Sunday, so I'm not quite sure if there's a ceremony going on or if we can even go inside, but uh, we're going to take a look and hopefully it's just as nice as last time. That is one epic church with the candles. It's really dark inside this church and it yeah, really makes a really cool atmosphere with the lights coming through the stained windows and stuff. Yeah, I can definitely recommend coming here. Even if it's a three hour trip, it's well worth it. So here's a really cool cafe and there's a water mill inside or in the garden. So uh, let's take a look. So what happens is the river flows through the bottom of the wheel and it pushes the wheel around and then the wheel actually turns around this thing and yeah this thing is actually used in the cafe they use this to make bread and cakes and uh, all kind of things all with the good old power of nature no electricity here just water so these pies are all made with the power of the water mill amazing and this type of pie is actually from this province in the Netherlands, Limburg. It's very typical Limburgish. So I thought you want to try the Limburg pie. So how was your Limburg fly? I didn't eat any. Too sweet for me. And now we're gonna go to some sort of castle wall it's just called a wall so uh, must be one spectacular wall while uh, some guy is showing off his car here and while we were just casually walking around we stumbled upon this beautiful string performance random string quartet yeah only in Maastricht <laughs> Now 
now this place is straight out of a fairy tale here we have the hands and gretel house and then here is a castle does it get any more fairy tale than this i don't think so now this must be that wall i was talking about i have to say it's a pretty damn cool wall And Mariko actually discovered that there's a secret road under these trees. Nobody knows this. We're the only people who ever came here. Whoa. This place is pretty cool, guys. Whoa. Magical. This feels super magical. Nice find, Mariko. I've only been in Maastricht one time before. I didn't have that much time last time, but now I'm taking a better look and there's cool parks hidden everywhere and there's castles everywhere hidden on every corner. I wish all of the Netherlands was like this. Amsterdam is, is nothing compared to this. Much prefer this to Amsterdam. Talking about castles and the dark ages, there's even a damn cannon here! How epic is that? And here's Marco sitting on the cannon. But let's think about these cannons. How would it things have looked like in the 1600s, in the Dark Ages? I know that there's a river there, so maybe the Spanish were coming and we had to protect the city. And they were shooting with cannons from here. Quite a different life from the life that we lead right now. Okay, Maastricht. I hereby declare you best city of the Netherlands. Nothing comes close. Amsterdam? No. Haarlem, Utrecht? They all suck. And these scooters also suck. Always so damn noisy. But Maastricht is super epic. Way better than any other Dutch city. So, even though it's like a million miles from Amsterdam, if you're here, please go. It's amazing. They have cannons. Now this epic church is not actually a church, it's a library or a bookstore, a bookstore not library and it's super cool. So the cool thing is you can get really close to the roof. So you can really see all the details of how they made it. Super cool. You just keep thinking, how did they do this all these years ago? So if you need books and you want to visit a church, go to Maastricht. You can do both at the same time. That's it for Maastricht. What an epic city. Truly epic. But we're gonna go take a look if my Brompton is still there. And then we're gonna go to Falkenburg, which is a small town next to Maastricht, which is also very cozy. Oh, sorry, I left you alone. Brompton Chan. Sorry. We arrived in Falkenburg and we're going down a really steep hill. We don't have hills in my part of the Netherlands, I'm not used to this. Oh! Ah. 
And then in the middle of the town there is this strange little cafe with a motorbike and all these strange statues. And there's also a lovely little garden with birds chirping and singing. And it was just so peaceful. Alright, we have a long trip ahead of us to go back. Three hours by train. But it was a nice day. That last clip of that little garden, that was straight up magic, a straight up fairy tale. Something out of a Disney movie. Yeah, I have no words to describe it, but that's just amazing. So, Falkenburg, maybe even better than Maastricht. Both are really nice. It was a good day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again in the next one. Alright, bye bye.